Hey guys, Alex here and welcome to a new video. Now today's topic is the structured PvP and why it's kind of a little frustrating, why i kind of been a little annoyed with it. But uh, it's not the game itself, it just happens to be the lobbies I tend to join and those lobbies tend to have uh, not very good teammates, people who don't play for winning, people who just play for their own kind of, you know, I want to kill people. <laughs> Now, structure PvP is based off teamwork, and having good teamwork will guarantee you winning most of your games. You will join lobbies where people kind of are really working well together, and you lose. That's that's normal. You can't always win, right? But for the most part, <laughs> I tend to join these lobbies where people uh, don't really play the objective. They don't go capture points, and kind of just you know, kind of play like it's a death match. Uh, they play like I guess an arena. Uh, this game does not have an arena, and it doesn't really play for having an arena. I mean, at least it doesn't feel like arena would be uh, that good in it. Maybe I'm wrong. It Maybe it would be a lot of fun, but, I mean, structured PvP is not arena, and it's not a team deathmatch, so it should be played uh, as a team cooperative uh, game mode. And for the most part, I run into people who do not do that, and, yeah, it can be really frustrating. I've had some really bad games. Literally, I just leave sometimes because... Uh, you get one team that's really good and you get you join in a game and it puts you with these teammates who are really you know maybe they're new players and they're just really getting steamrolled and that kind of translates to you getting owned too so it's a little frustrating I mean it's normal in every game to have new players or players who uh, aren't too good but for the most part I wouldn't even say that the players aren't good. It's just that they're not playing uh, structure PvP how it's meant to be played, and it kind of it kind of gets a little frustrating. It makes the game a little bit uh, uh, frustrating at times. Uh, but the game itself, uh, I really enjoy it. I'm really liking it, and uh, I don't find it boring at all. A lot of people are finding it boring, but I think that is the reason. The reason is they're getting these uh, lobbies where they can't do much because the other team is doing really well playing together, and their team is just not doing well and I guess yeah then the game can be frustrating and people I see how people can get tired of it but for the most part if you join as a team or with players who you know you you will do good and you will win a lot of games and that's where uh, that's where you have the most fun uh, this game is meant to be played with you know group fights and yeah when there's a group fight the game is oh it's super fun and it gets intense but if you're just kind of running around doing your own thing trying to pick up random kills the game's gonna get boring why because you're running around by yourself for half the game and you're gonna get a kill every like few minutes and or like you're gonna be in a fight like very few fights throughout the game so yeah the game's gonna get boring and I, I i get it that way but if you play the game right it's it's probably the most fast-paced game that i've played really mmo wise just because there's like constant action and you're always trying to either defend or capture right that is the point of the game so uh if you're finding that you're going into lobbies getting owned uh i would just suggest trying to find people even maybe if you jump into a game and you see someone who uh kind of plays well kind of just maybe add them add them your friends list or something like that just to see uh see if you can get a group of people and make the game a lot funner and if you run around with people the game is a lot funner you will probably die way less and uh You'll always be in action. You, I mean, you'll always be in a fight. You always, you always be doing something. And the game, I can guarantee, I can guarantee it won't be boring. So, I guess uh, <laughs> I just have to get it off my chest because I've been real frustrated lately with a lot of lobbies. Uh, but I noticed that when I started playing with subscribers, I, I tend to have way more fun, and uh, I'm not really frustrated. And we end up winning most of our games, even if it's just me and one other person going to uh, capture points by ourselves, we end up winning the game because uh, everyone else is too worried about getting kills or, you know, going and fighting uh, 1v1. So, yeah, that's my uh, <laughs> that's my complaint, I guess you could call it. And uh, I'm not talking down the game at all. I don't think this is a game problem. I think this is more or less a uh, player issue uh, and uh, that people should realize that the game is meant to be played the way it it is uh teamwork teamwork is is basically in every game but i don't know why in this game it, it kind of it lacks a lot of teamwork uh, people don't really play together and it's driving me a little nuts uh 
if you join the guild, it's a different story. If you play tournament tournament mode, uh, then yeah, okay, tournament mode is a different story. You gotta get your own group and jump in in five v fives, and yeah, that's that's hard. <laughs> and if you want a challenge, that's where you should go. But if you're more of a casual player, you just enjoy uh, having a good time, playing fun. Uh, that's that's the reason I play structured PvP. Uh, just I'm not I don't want to be hardcore. I just want to have a good time. I want to have fun games, uh, and that's why I do it. In the future, if I do get a five-man team that I feel is very decent, I will most certainly do tournaments and have fun that way. But, I mean, I just enjoy going into a game with a couple of people and just having fun, you know, uh, capturing points and winning games. Uh, I think that's a lot funner than losing every game and being mad at your teammates. Uh, I think that's uh, a lot funner. Besides that, guys, the game is awesome. I'm still having a lot of fun. And for the next DPS battles, uh, let me know what you guys want to see. It might be Elementalist. I'm not sure yet. In the comments, again, let me know. In my last video, uh, Elementalist seemed to be favorited. So maybe I'll do Elementalist. And uh, <laughs> I was playing Warrior. I was going. We were two Warriors, my friend and I. Uh, played a stun build, a just hammer build with uh, a lot of stuns. As well as some utility skills with knockdowns. Oh my god, it was super fun. It was uh, <laughs> pretty intense. And I would just jump in, cap points, knock everyone down. So it was super fun. I am trying to play different roles. I don't want to have one role, meaning I don't want to have one profession to play. I want to be able to play tank. I want to be able to play DPS. And I want to be, be able to play support too. So I'm just trying to have different professions, learning different builds. And I think overall that's a lot funner and makes the game uh, a lot fresher than if you just kind of play the same thing over and over and over which is what most people do but if you kind of incorporate other professions or other builds you will see the game is totally uh, fresh and fun as well as if you do uh, world versus world which I still haven't done I want to do world versus world but uh, I don't have the manpower yet if you want to play with me all you gotta do is send me your name via YouTube PM message I play on Isle of Janthir and I'll add you to the guild and we can totally uh you know, play structure PvP. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like. And uh, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. As always, I'm Alex. Have a great day.